Welcome to our lesson on expanding a pair of brackets and simplifying the result. So when we have an expression such as three lots of x plus two, this means three multiplied by x plus two. We don't write the multiplication symbol because often it can be confused with an x symbol. So this means we're going to multiply everything on the inside of our bracket by the term on the outside. And we begin by multiplying the three by the x, which we write as 3 times x. And then we have 3 multiplied by 2, which is 6. And we simplify the 3 times x as 3x plus 6. For question b, we have 4 lots of 5 plus y. And again, we multiply everything on the outside, which is 4, by each of the terms on the inside of our brackets. So we have 4 times 5, which is 20. And then we have 4 times y, which is 4y. So this becomes 20 plus 4y. Do you want to try and expand the expressions in C to F and simplify what you can? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we have 3 times 2e which is 3 times 2 to make 6, and the e term, and then 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15. And for question d, 6 times the 3a, which is 18a, and then 6 times the negative 4g, while 6 times 4 is 24, and we have the g term. Moving on to question e, we have our a term here, and now we're multiplying it out by a negative, 2, so negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, and then negative 2 times negative a is positive 2a. A common misconception is to forget to multiply the a term by the negative 2. And now we can simplify this expression by collecting the a terms together, so we have 3a minus 6. And finally for question f, we have x times x, which is x squared, and then x times negative 3, which is minus 3x. We're going to add this to 3x squared plus 4x, and now we can collect the like terms, where we have 1 plus another 3x squared, which is 4x squared, and negative 3x plus a 4 is positive x. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.